so um, this one's double wrapped like a toaster element has in the center of the toaster and I noticed by uh, studying <laughs> the toasters the outer plates only have it wrapped on the one side and then they kind of have looped around like this like I did here so I copied the toaster now this wire was in this crock pot now I didn't I didn't film the disassembly of this thing but so I'm not going to use any of this I had this metal strap and it was kind of elaborate really and I could have wrapped it around like they had you know with uh, the wire I'm using but I, it needs to be on this. Well, it was just going to be a little involved. So I went ahead and did it my own way. And I made this plate to go on the bottom instead. And uh, because of, uh, I don't want this to ground out on this metal. <laughs> I'm going to use this. It just happens to work great. I just got to drill the hole in the center. As far as I can tell, that's going to work fine. And then... Uh, then this can set on there without shorting out. Just have that one screw sticking up right there and it ain't gonna hurt anything because that's all there and I might even, you know, that's fine. One point I wanted to make in drilling these holes with this diamond bit, it works real, it works fairly good on this uh, terracotta material. So that drills nicely. But this stuff here, man, the first ones I drilled it and then I tried to drill this one last night and it, it's just taken forever. I was thinking it was going to dull this bit. So I came up with a better way. So I cut slices and notched this hair to get the screw on. It worked perfect. As far as I can tell, it's tight. This is the original wire. It's a heat wire. So that's a... Uh, uh, kind of expensive wire there I went ahead and used the original wire and then they got these heat shields on this standard wire I think it's going to be adequate well I don't know if I should have replaced this wire with a heavier gauge we'll see how it rolls yeah First test. Well, it's the second test, but I didn't have enough time last night. It's just something I threw. I didn't have much to work with, so I got some onion, potato, and I'll throw in some meat in there. I got some pork. I think I'll throw in. I can't hook it up to that one because it's 24 volt, so it's 39. This one's like 19, and I I got in a hurry. I missed the calculations. So this would be perfect for 12 volt. It, it'd run at about 65 watts. But now it's going to run at about 160 watts. Because <laughs> it's 19 volts. Alright, it's been about two hours. I can smell the onions big time. Now you can see it's almost boiling. Yeah, I can see it uh, working its way. So it's not boiling. So what we got going in here. The uh, temperature of the water, of the soup, I should say, whatever we got in here. 73, 77.1, pretty much stopped there. Huh? Two. Smells not mighty tasty. Of course, this is too teeny, you know. This is the only one I could find at the time. And now I've got this other one. Next, I'll do this one. It's not a bad size little crock pot. It stopped. I can't remember what happened. I got it at the Goodwill. It may not have worked. I just didn't take it back. Cause... All right, here's the plate. I calculated up. I think it was seven ohms. I can't remember now, but I'm going to go for 200 watts. It 
It's a hybrid concrete sand battery. Well, I just poured this concrete last night. I know it's not completely cured yet, but So it's been about two hours and the water's just getting warm but the underside the metal can down in there is super hot I can't even touch it so it's yeah but it's not even steaming yet we gave it another couple hours okay it's been like three and a half hours I'm seeing progress now I just don't think it's getting hot enough up here. I'll be converting this. I might get to it today, but rain's on its way. So I gotta clean everything up and tidy things up here. I got stuff scattered out in the open here, cleaning pumpkins. Still going to change the lettering some because of the uh, contrast. Working on this glass, I looked it up. They say you can use vinegar to cut this water stain, so I'm going to try that next. And another solar system I'm putting together. Thank goodness I've only got 300 projects going. So I designed it with without a drain pipe. And the, this level that I'm putting in now is lower than that perimeter and at a slight angle. I've been come, be, making friends with this little lizard down here. He's always hanging out right in the same area. 